Now this is the project that we're going to use. This is Virgo and uh, the insert there, you've got the outside, some gold card and some flat back jewels as well. This is the Virgo design that I'm going to work with. Now we're going to use all the different elements here. We've got the uh, large topper here, which is the uh, medium large. We've also got some of the background papers in various sizes that we're going to use. You can see these. And also we've got this gold, crinkled gold effect that you can print off. Now we're starting with the 8 by 8 inch card. This is uh, just a plain white card like that. And what I'm going to do is do the insert first. And I've taken one of the large kaleidoscope effect image here and I've matte and layered it with the gold effect paper. And I'm just going to stick that on the inside. Next, I've cut a strip of the background paper that's going to cover this side and I've just mounted it onto some gold card. And this now I'm going to stick onto my card. decide where exactly where you want to put it but I'm going to leave a little band of white at the edge there. The next thing I've done I've taken the topper and I've trimmed it leaving a white border then I've also mounted that onto the gold card as well. Now I could put foam pads on the back of this if I wanted to raise it up a little bit more but I'm just going to stick this one down like that. Now you can decide you want it up in that corner or down here, but I'm going to have it slightly higher than the middle and just stick it down like that so it overlaps. I think that makes a nice card on its own, but of course, because it's the Zodiac, I'm going to add a few flat back jewels. And as you can see, I've been quite restrained with the flat back jewels. I've just put a nice large one here, one on the earring and one in each of the centre of the flowers. 